Okay, so for my second video, um, I'm doing the dilation. So basically I have my dilation point here and my scale factor all the way up here. Um, can I zoom this out? I uh, don't want to mess it up. Oh, oops. Okay, that kind of works. So basically I kind of made it my own curvy image and it's kind of like a deformed Hershey kiss, so I'm going to dilate it by a scale factor of 1.5 centimeters, if you couldn't see it when I moved the sheet up. Um, since my shape kind of resembles a triangle, I'm going to dilate it like I would a triangle. So I decided to put my dilation points um, here, um, along the major, like, outermost points of the... Uh, Hershey Kiss, that's what I'm going to call it. Um, so, I chose those points because, like a triangle, I consider them my kind of guide points. So basically the outermost points on my figure, like I said. So basically I'm just going to draw my lines from my dilation point. Well, if I can grab my ruler. From my dilation point to all the different points, like the blue dots. And then I'm going to measure the distance from that to, from the dilation point to the blue dots. So, let's use my pencil instead. You still see? Yes, okay. So here's my dilation drawing, number one. So since I'm making it bigger, I didn't want to make it too much bigger because I have a small sheet. And I didn't want to run out of room because then that would kind of defeat the purpose. So, ow, oops. Okay, there's one. Here's two. <clears throat> and since I'm making it bigger, I'm going to draw further out from the shape than I normally would, since this is already a big shape anyway. Oops. Um, okay, last one. Now, I probably should have put one there, but I think I can manage just drawing like a semi-curved line. Okay, so now I'm going to measure, oops, well, if I can pick this ruler up, okay. Can you see? Okay. So now I'm going to measure from, in centimeters, from the dilation point to the blue points. So this one seems to be nine centimeters. Um... This next one is 15, oh my goodness, 15 centimeters. This one is 5 centimeters. And the last one is 13 centimeters. Okay, so now I would multiply each by 1.5. Let me... Okay, so I have my calculator, so 9 times, oops, 9 times 1.5, which would be 13.5, so we're just going to measure 13.5 here, okay, so now 15 times 1.5, should be 22.5. Good thing I didn't do a bigger scale factor. That was a good call. Um, 5 times 1.5, which would be 7.5. And last is 13 times 1.5. So 19.5. Do I have enough room? Yes, barely. Okay, so now, basically, I'm going to highlight these so I can see them better. With green, because green's a pretty color. Um, so now, basically, you see my four points. So now we're going to kind of etch it out to kind of look like, you know... I'm going to add an extra dilation point because I don't know where to draw this line. So, 
and since it's already in line, I can just 12 centimeters. So let's just do 12 times 1.5, 18, <clears throat> 18 centimeters. I can just put that out here. So now I know where to put my little curve in my drawing. Okay, so I can do, so start from here. We can just kind of curve this up. I guess it doesn't have to be like an exact drawing, huh? Um, is that right? Yes. Okay, that's where it starts to curve. Okay, so I'm right. And then it just goes up here. Okay. Um, and curve down. So we have my giant lump of Hershey. Okay, so we can draw the little thing that goes on top. Kind of looks like a volcano now, but that's okay. So that's my dilation. I guess, awesome.